While exploring eBay for these little lights here, the sort of camping lights or emergency lights that plug into your USB port and provide a, a decent level of illumination, well, some of them do. Some of them are bright and some of them are not so bright because some of them are using high power LEDs and some are using much smaller LEDs. But that detracts from the point here, which is I've found this uh, flame emulation USB light that just plugs into a USB port and gives this sort of flame effect. So I'm going to show you this close up so you can see what it looks like. There is going to be some flickering just by the virtue of the fact, well, it's a flame. Very repetitive flickering, I have to say. There is pulsive modulation involved. There are, they are sort of uh, creating dimming, not just uh, flashing LEDs on and off. But it repeats very quickly, literally within seconds, it just loops round, and that's a shame. It makes me wonder if they've used a, a lookup table uh, to, with pre-programmed intensity values just for a simple sequence of effects. So watch your eyes, the light is about to come back. And the light is back. Let's open it up and see what's inside. So I'm guessing, like the other ones, that this will pop off. It does pop off. And it's got a, a circuit board, quite heavy diffusion in that. A, a circuit board with six LEDs on one side and six LEDs on the other. And the ubiquitous 8-pin chip. Resistors to the LEDs. i uh, tell you what, I shall take a picture of this. I shall pop it out. Does it come out or is it soldered in? That looks like a little latch in there. Let's try prying that back. Oh, I don't want to snap it, don't want to snap it. It's coming out. Yeah, 8-pin chip. Um, oh, a little capacitor across the chip. Right, tell you what, I shall take a picture and we can explore. Here's the picture. Let's explore. So the LEDs are wired in parallel, and each one has a 100-ohm resistor, 101, and that's one zero and a single zero after it, so that's 100 ohms. The only other component here is uh, the microcontroller and a resistor, uh, uh, should I say, a capacitor across its rails. And on one side of the circuit board, we've got a positive track running up from one end to the other, uh, going to all the LEDs, which are then uh, connected through with uh, plated through holes. And then lots and lots of thin tracks on the other side. I didn't draw them in because it would have been quite hard drawing the thin tracks uh, freehand in this, but it gets quite cluttered quickly. Um, the pinout is such that uh, they're arranged in a fairly logical sequence. One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, this pinout in the microcontroller kind of hints at pick 12, but there are lots of clones that use the same arrangement of the pin one is positive and uh, pin eight is negative. Uh, the pick 12 wouldn't really work on that because pin four is actually Conf actually, would that work? It is configured in such a way you can't really use it as an output in both polarities. But anyway, uh, can use that as an output at all. I'm, I'm trying to think now. It's so long since I programmed the PIC-12. But it does make me think that it would be fairly easy, to, if you wanted to go at writing software, to uh, just basically desolder this chip and pop your own on. Maybe even a little header so you could actually pop the uh, pop the chip in. Uh, manually between programming and putting it in but that would let you improve it i do think it is from this such a short pattern i don't think there, there's much computation going on. i would have liked to have seen uh, something like my earlier experiments with linear shift registers that just chased modulated levels up the uh, leds but it's a, a reasonable enough effect it's not a terribly expensive light it's a sort of classic ebay thing and, well, there's not really much to say about it. It's about as simple as it could be. Uh, two LEDs and a resistor per spare pin the chip and then just the power and a little decoupling capacitor. Uh, I'll show you the schematic for this. I almost forgot to show you the schematic. Here's the schematic. It's nothing to write home about. You have the USB supply coming in, goes straight to that capacitor and then the chip. You have the positive going up, feeds along all the LEDs and then each one has a 100 ohm resistor going to its own pin in the chip and that is it. So... It's a novel little device. There is the potential that if you wanted something unusual, you could possibly desolder all the LEDs. Not sure how easy that would be, given it's double-sided. Um, well, desoldering would be easy. Soldering new ones on might be tricky, but you could put in LEDs of a colour of your choice. The ones on either side would have to match. They'd have to be identical LEDs just to so they both lit from the single resistor because they're in parallel. But that is it. It's a very simple little light. 
uh, it has its uses, but it could do with an improvement. But good is a, a base for your own project, for experimenting, for creating your own effects. 